Hello dear students, I am Shu Kumar S. Talade, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmacology, Shulingeshwar College of Pharmacy, Almala. Today we learn regarding effect of phagostigmine and atropine on DRC of acetylcholine. This experiment was divided into two part, part A and part B. In part A, we study the effect of phagostigmine on dose response curve of acetylcholine and in part B, we study the effect of atropine on dose response curve of acetylcholine. So, here the phagostigmine is a anticholine esterase substance or agents. It inhibits the choline esterase enzyme. So, this enzyme is required for the metabolism of acetylcholine into acetate and cholines. So, here the phagostigmine, it can inhibit the metabolic breakdown of acetylcholine. By interfering with the metabolism of acetylcholine, phagostigmine indirectly stimulates the both nicotinic and muscarinic receptors. Due to the consequential increase in available acetylcholine at the synapses, so the response of acetylcholine is increases. The phagostigmine is used in the diagnosis and treatment of myasthenia gravis. So, myasthenia gravis is a autoimmune disorders. So, where in the synaptic junction, so due to decrease the acetylcholine level, so the muscles are unable to contract. So, that was treated with the help of the administrations of phagostigmine. The phagostigmine is also used as an antidote for the treatment of the atropine poisoning. So, regarding the mechanisms, so the normally in presynaptic neurons, so synaptic vesicles, so they are releases the acetylcholine. So, that released acetylcholine, so few molecules they act on the receptors and the few molecules are metabolized due to presence of the choline esterase enzyme. So, due to metabolism of choline esterase enzyme, so less effect was produced by acetylcholine. But administrations of phagostigmine, so phagostigmine inhibit the metabolism of released acetylcholine. So, due to inhibitions of metabolism of acetylcholine by phagostigmine at synaptic junction, so the amount or concentrations of acetylcholine around the receptors is increases. Then finally, the effect of acetylcholine is also increases due to increasing the concentrations of acetylcholine at synapse. So, aim of this practical is to study the effect of phagostigmine on DRC of acetylcholine using frog rectus abdominus muscle preparations. So, requirements, so here we required animal is a frog. So, drugs like acetylcholine stock solution 1 mg per ml, phagostigmine stock solutions 1 mg per ml, physiological salt solution is frog ringer solution. So, isolate the tissue as described in the experiment number 5 and tissue can be kept in the tissue organ bath by using student organ bath and wash the tissue for 45 minutes to remove the debris waste material. So, that is known as the isolations of the tissues. So, after 45 minutes isolations completed and within isolation isolations period at least uh, 4 to 5 times the ringer solution is changed. So, after that record the baseline. So, without any drug. So, after that administered 0.1 ml of acetylcholine solutions from the stock solution and record the responses for 90 seconds. So, after 90 seconds stop the drum and change the ringer solutions. So, due to changing of ringer solutions, the drug is completely removed from the solution, then the tissue is relaxed, then the liver is came to its original positions. So, during this period at least 2 to 3 times you should be changed the frog ringer solutions. So, after washing period once again record the baseline without any drug for 30 seconds. So, after that administered 
0.2 ml of acetylcholine and record the responses in the presence of drug for 90 seconds. So, after 90 seconds, stop the drum, once again change the ringer solution, then automatically liver can came to its original positions. So, after washing period, once again record the baseline for 30 seconds, then administered 0.4 ml of acetylcholine solution and record the response due to presence of 0.4 ml acetylcholine solutions for 90 seconds. So, after 90 seconds, stop the drum and wash the tissues 2 to 3 times. Then, after washing period, once again record the baseline, then add the 0.8 ml of acetylcholine solution, then record the responses due to additions of 0.8 ml acetylcholine solutions for 90 seconds. So, after this, stop the drum and wash the ringer solution then automatically the tissue is recorded. So, this is known as the DRC of acetylcholine that is 1 mg per ml. So, after this add phygostigmine 2 microgram per ml to the reservoir containing frog ringer and irrigate the tissues with externized ringer for 30 minutes. So, after 30 minutes repeat the concentration response score of acetylcholine in the same concentration previously used in the presence of the physiostigmine. So, that is after esterinize the tissues, record the baseline, then add 0.1 ml of acetylcholine, the previously added dose or concentration and once again record the responses by starting the drum for only 90 seconds. So, after 90 seconds, stop the drum and change the ringer solution, it is not a washing period. So, after that, record the baseline, then add 0.2 ml of acetylcholine solution, then record the responses due to additions of acetylcholine in the presence of phygostigmine containing ringer solutions for 90 seconds. So, after 90 seconds, stop the drum, wash the tissues 2 to 3 times, then after 3 minutes, once again record the baseline, then add 0.4 ml of acetylcholine solution and record responses for 90 seconds. So, after 90 seconds, stop the drum and change the ringer solution to remove the drug from the ringer solution. Then after 3 minutes, once again record the baseline and add 0.8 ml of acetylcholine solution and record the responses for 90 second. So, after 90 second, stop the drum and change the ringer solutions to remove the drug from the solutions. Then after that, once again record the baseline and this is known as the DRC of acetylcholine in the presence of the physiostigmine. So, after completions of the practical, fix the stresses with the help of the fixing solution. So, after that measure the height of the responses in mm. So, first responses of 0.1 without any physiostic bind, the responses is 23 mm, then regarding 0.2 that is 34 mm, then 0.4 we can got 50 mm height and 0.8 we can got the response about 68 mm. Then also the 0.1 ml of acetylcholine responses in the presence of physiostic bind is 35 then regarding 0.2 ml that is a 44 and 0 0.4 67 mm and 0.8 the response is 92 mm. From the table it indicates, so in the presence of phygostigmine the response was increases. So, after that draw a dose or concentration response curve or graph that is 
one is in the absence and other is the, the presence of the physiostigmine. So, observation table, so consists of serial number, dose of astaglin ml, dose of astaglin mg, then dose response in mm and percent of response mm without any physiostigmine, then with physiostigmine the responses in mm and percentage of response. The dose in mg was calculated like 1 ml of stock solutions containing 1 mg, then 0.1 ml of estrogen solutions containing how much. So, like that you can got 0 0.1 mg, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8. Regarding percentage response, so any highest response in mm is taken as 100 percent. Okay. So, here we are taken 68 as a 100 percent, then 23 is how much, that is a 33.82, then 34 that is regarding 50 percent, 50, 73.52 percent, then 68 for 100 percent. For calculations of percentage of response regarding in the presence of phagistigmine, the 100 percent should be previous only, okay, that is a 68 without any phagistigmine. Then like that 35 mm got 51.47 percent, 44 we got 64.7 percent, 67, 98.52 percent, 92, 135.94 percent. So, after that draw a CRC or DRC of acetylcholine in absence or presence of phagistigmine. So, that is the purple color line, it indicates the response of acetylcholine in the presence of phagistigmine and red color graph indicates the percentage of response in the absence of phagistigmine. So, these are the references we are used for to prepare the this practical. So, whatever the data we are taken for demo purpose only. So, these data do not have any relation to the real research data. Thank you.